much better with the lights on. <laughs> yeah, this would have been where they kept all the beer kegs and that. This used to be a pub years ago, then obviously it turned into a nightclub, then into a strip club. <laughs> Used to be like a walk in fridge, this whole room. Definitely where they kept the old beer kegs. It hasn't been used in years. The state of the condenser. Old toilets. It must have been weird for the public to come down here and use the toilets. You must have thought, the bloody hell are they coming? This is cool in here, though. Old computers, box of CDs. They've got all the bangers in here, like trans anthems. Mental. There's someone pride, Pride's collection there. It's usually a Pride collection there to have a bunch of CDs there. Or Maplin's PC. <laughs> Back in the day when Maplin sold you an empty case and then they go, Would you like to buy this bundle motherboard? <laughs> yeah, it lasts for about two weeks. Let's go look at the best bit. Let's go look upstairs. Stairs are weird though. Got a bunker theme with that type of light. <laughs> Back of the toilets. This is the doorway in from the basement. So this would be the staff walkthrough from the main entrance to the lap dancing bit. Hmm. Yeah, what was interesting me, this thing in here, was the actual old name of this place. It used to be called the Office of Wine Bar. One of the old names there. I don't know, it's probably the only thing left in here from that. It used to be green. Yeah, there's old toilets in here, but I don't think they get used anymore. These are the bathrooms they would have used. They're actually quite in good condition, really. Work at media. Best bits upstairs, but we'll keep that for in a minute. <laughs> Ladies' bathroom.
My dad kind was in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they used to put these railings outside when people used to line up. Mm, cross street cars. <laughs> Private. In their office. Yeah, this would have been the main way in. Through there. Legal no. Phone charging. I didn't even read that last time. <laughs> yeah, this is where you come to. Can I come and watch a girl dance on the pole? <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a weird layout. This one has got so you've got a ground floor bit, but I don't think the public would have used that second door in there. So this would have been like the sort of lobby area with the toilets on, and obviously up here. Ta-da! We have the dance floor. DJ booth. Weird with the roof in there, don't it? Yeah, it's like it's like fabric stuff, and it's like falling down in places. But they have pigeons living up in there. It's cool with the lights there. Funky looking. This is the other bar down the opposite end. I'll tell you what does make me laugh is the bloody prices and stuff on here. Look at this. Was it earlier? I've seen some one of these. It was, yeah, Dom, Dom, Progain or something. £150. Champagne. Posh, in it? <laughs> I think over here would have been what they kept all the amplifiers, like an amplifier room. This bar's cool in here though. Look at this bar. 
this is the lighting just looks cool in here. It's weird what they've made these walls out as well. They're like fiberglass. Fiberglass walls in here. And then look at this bar. The only bar that lights that. <laughs> And that's the stairs back down to the first bar we looked at. I'm not too sure if the public would have used this way. I'm pretty sure they would have kept them to using that one way usually. That would have been a staff back bit for the security and the people that worked here. Well then again, if anyone's watching my video and actually worked here, you could tell me which way you used. <laughs> Weird, it's like an old kitchen. Imagine it was a good lift behind that wall. It was very odd. Tell you what, they did do cool in here though. The way they've done the mirrors, it makes it feel a lot bigger in here than it is. It's like when you stand over in and look in there, it looks like there's another section over there, but it's not. Shine so bright.